All right, guys, I'm torn between two machines here. I'm torn between a uh, Hustler Super S or another Toro Grandstand. I know the Grandstand cuts real nice, and you can't demo a Ferris, or, or sorry, a Hustler in my area anywhere unless I find somebody that has one. But I'm looking at a 48, which would have the 691V on it. Needless to say, I cannot get a 52, period. I wish I could. But I have gates that a 52 would definitely not fit through. A couple things I do like about this is it feels real nice. I like the platform and everything on it. feels real nice and it holds a heel real nice. The grandstand, on the other hand, uh, well, I, I don't know if I like this or not. Um, the grandstand works with uh, a different type of um, brake. But... Uh, <clears throat> But the grandstand's real light in the front end, but you can get off that platform and you know uh, <clears throat> not have to worry about any, not have to worry about the mower dying or anything. Now I'm curious if I turn this on, uh, if I got off the platform, if it would kill the engine or if it just disengages the PTO like the Toro does, and you know then you just get back on, re-engage the PTO. But let me know which one you would choose because I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place right now. Like I said, everything I have is Toro, is red anyway. Uh, so going to something yellow, I'm not opposed to by any means and having them different colors, but I don't want to make the wrong decision, especially buying something that I cannot demo or see how it cuts or anything. I know the Toro, you know, uh, under the deck of this, by the way, very easy to scrape round spindles you know I, I think it would be fine uh the grandstand however has a lot of bolts underneath even though they rounded the spindles they have a lot of bolts underneath it just seems like it would be a pain in the butt to scrape plus it seems like it would hold grass way worse than something like this that don't have that but uh anyway um <clears throat> top speeds i'm really not worried about i don't mow it you know the full speed anyway this does have a smaller gas tank than the uh the grandstand which is 10 gallon you know i don't know y'all let me know what you think and uh because I'm, I'm looking for something there's nothing wrong with my grandstand but i i just I'm, I'm in the mood for something new something different i like how the new toros have uh on the handle you know to where the deck ain't bouncing all over the place anymore so that's a nice thing but i don't know so uh yeah give me a comment let me know something you know pretty quick I, i'm not in a rush but i'd like to buy something pretty soon if possible and uh yeah so uh actually i'll show you the grandstand real quick of what i'm talking about about the handle which this one seems like it would stay down but it also seems like it may uh bounce when you hit bumps but i really like where all the controls and everything are at on this the hydros were real smooth i mean it felt good riding it and when i went up a hill it did not pull the front wheels hoorah on that so uh yeah i'm gonna uh see about this real quick if it shuts off completely when you get off or whatever and then uh i'll take you and show you this grandstand real fast because i'm trying to keep this video short and sweet this is what I'm talking about. When you lower the deck, now it stays in place so you're not bouncing all over the place. But I'll show you what I don't like about these uh, deck-wise as I was telling you about. All right, so here's the newer ones. But if you look, there's a ton of bolts under here. I love that they changed the spindle, but ton of bolts. And I don't know it just seems like it's going to be a pain to scrape for one and uh i don't know how well that's going to hold grass for two with all this stuff going on through here i mean it's just crazy that they would do this but i don't know 